So I'll give you some more time to explore again toward this question of what are the possible things that could end up on that final card. All right, have fun. So it is associated. You add up one through five. In any order, you always get the same result. One, the sum of the numbers, one through five. Yeah, and I guess we probably all believe that. One plus two plus three plus four plus five. In any order, there's one answer to that. And if we believe that this operation is commutative and associative, both, which I think I do believe that. that commutative is pretty clear, but associative is a little yeah, less I just, obvious, I just right? I investigated that. I'm uh -huh. sure it is associative, I think. Uh -huh. um, so then that means if we do this operation with any set of numbers in any order, there's one, one result. That's what we've established. But Provided when we, we all agree on that source of data. Uh, agree, so yeah. about that. Right. So, uh, yeah. so now the question changes from what's the largest possible output to the question of what is the output. What is the yeah. output? I think that like who is the adding helps. machine, right? It what number do I end up with after I've added everything? We found the answer. You found the answer? And now we have to figure out how to prove. So how did you get this answer? So <laughs> oh, okay. You didn't use the results until you were done with, with all the original parts, and then you did the same algorithm with the outputs and then continued. So I included outputs as outputs were generated. I included them in my outside in recipe, and I got 572. She did it in the way I just described, and got 649. And so I understand what you're saying. So, so the issue is that it just doesn't generalize if we have more than three cards. It might. I don't know about four, but it doesn't work for five. Now that was only using two cards at a time. Right. And, and I can tell you, so for example, if you do, um, say, just one, two, three, four. So we okay. started with your suggestion of going back to four. Yeah. And we did it for three different ways and got the same number. So then we made a conjecture that it's the same number. If it's an even number of cars, yeah, then it's look at your answer. the same number. So that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not right. There's some rounding error there. Excel doesn't keep that many decimal places of accuracy. So that's only approximately the answer. Because Excel rounds when you have big numbers. It's not an exact integer the answer there. Big. The answer is very big. <laughs> right. Yeah. I wonder if you could convert this to scientific notation. It'd still be only an approximation because it only give you the first few decimal places. That's the thing. Right. Well, we could do it by hand. It would just take a really long time to be able to. Okay, do I want to know what the answer okay. is. We can do that. <laughs> but see, essentially, what we did after we went through and yeah. inductively found that you know the results were the same no matter which okay. order we put it in. But he said it was okay to get it wrong. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Good. For one, two, three, four, five, yeah. and we're able to find a recursive function. A recursive function that okay. was able to predict the next result, so we okay. it with five, yeah. so then we just put it into Excel Great. to have it figure that out. Yeah. If we wanted to I want a nice short that answer that I could, you know, this is going to take me sort of a hundred steps to compute. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Yeah, and I want to know all this stuff, like is this number odd or even, I don't, you can't tell from this because no. the last decimal places are all rounded, no. so it's just ending with a bunch of zeros because it's approximating, but that's not actually what the number ends with. Now did you also say So like what are the last five digits of this number? That's a good question. Yes. <laughs> but, um, that we have to prove that we... Yeah, you better find a way to convince me that it always, that there really is only one answer. Right. I mean, here you've shown me that with four numbers, right. well, I yeah, may, really. I'm kind of convinced that it's right. the same answer, but there might be some other ways of combining exactly. the four that you haven't tried yet. Exactly. Okay, so can you explain what these uh, results are so far? So I just started with the first two cards. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. No, I, to I, I get what you're doing now. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But we also have the other five that's already We need to go back to X and Y's problem. Yeah. I just gave a new number five. You have two number five. Well, so here you're looking at it additively, right? But this operation has both addition and multiplication. So maybe making sure you have some multiplication in your thinking and not just addition. Addition works for certain kinds of sequences, but not for all of them. Right. Sometimes you need other ways of thinking. So don't only think about what you add at each step. Maybe think about other operations.
connection with associativity is, is this the same thing as if you took y and z and then took the output and, and put it with x? Which is, yeah, I think you already have it here. So the question is just, are these, are these two right? you plug in so just multiply it out? Just check, right? Yeah. I mean, you can oh, distribute and do various uh, things oh. to see what this is and what this is. And the question is just, are they? You know a lot of these numbers, huh? Yeah, I also just spend a lot of my life practicing silly arithmetic in my head. Okay. Mathematician type? Yeah, not quite at that level, but yeah, right. Like sitting on the train, squaring three-digit numbers in my head just because, why not? What else would you do? <laughs> exactly. I, that would be good for mental discipline for me. <laughs> I gotta stop talking. I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> Does this does it make sense though that this like we can use this? Like we're just doing an algebraic trick, kind of like completing a square. So that rearranging it this way might be a little easier because then you only have x and y in one okay, place. But where are you this? So that that's the trick, sort of like we added that one to complete the square. You say, well, if you if you multiply out x plus one and y plus one, does it mean the same thing again? That's that's good. So maybe you can have some other explaining. You know, or maybe people ask questions that'll help it okay. get clear to everybody. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much board space do you need. I kind of am trying to save everybody's questions, but we don't really have to. Can I write on the window? Okay, so then how <laughs> how did we go from here or here to here? So then this was looking at, now it starts to get looking more complicated. So take, so if that's how you combine two things, and we're going to look at how you combine three things, that's going to be taking the output for combining two and, and taking that next. I'll probably I'll 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 I